So let's just pretend it hasn't been over a year since I last posted a video and Breath of the Wild 2? With this announcement, I thought, what better time to come back to YouTube after thinking in my mind for over a year that I would eventually come back. But it's okay, I just had an identity crisis and didn't like the sound of my voice anymore, but we're back now! And I might also be rebranding, so just look out for that. Still the same person, just very different. High school ruined me. So I didn't watch the Nintendo Direct live, if I did, I think my neighbors might have thought I was dying and that I might have actually passed out, but I did almost start crying on a public bus. So that's fun. I did not expect this to happen. I thought it was a wild dream that I had that they would just say that they're working on a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild, but it wouldn't actually happen. Well, I was wrong. It's actually happening and I could not be more excited. It seems like even the voice actors didn't know this was happening, so it's really hard to judge how far along in development this game is. The lead up to Breath of the Wild was one of the most exciting times of my life and I get to do it again? Yes! There are so many analysis videos that you can watch and everything and I don't want to really go into that mostly because this is unscripted and I don't feel like talking for that long but I'd just like to say a couple things about it because if you didn't forget about me you might remember that I love Breath of the Wild so a direct sequel to it is like the best thing that could ever happen to me. So number one, Zelda's short hair. I am in love with her. The art, I'm drowning in it and I love it. It makes a lot of sense because the last game Zelda was so sad about her responsibilities and being attacked to her father and everything that she had to be. So her cutting her hair is a really big signifier of her breaking and becoming a new person that is authentically herself. A more practical theory for why Zelda's hair is short is because it's easier to animate so it won't clip into things. So she may potentially be playable. Aonuma has neither confirmed nor denied this. Or it could just be because there will be more cutscenes in general and they'll look better if hair isn't flying everywhere. I'm so ready for meaningful interactions between Link and Zelda and yes, you know what I mean by that. And this game so far looks like it's going to be primarily focused on them. I'm interested to see what they do with this Ganondorf character. I don't know if they're gonna rehydrate him and then he's gonna be like an actual person or if he's gonna be another scary villain. I'm more intrigued if they made Ganondorf an actual character again because that would be really interesting. But I do also really want the game to just focus on Link and Zelda. I'm really interested to see what they do with the overworld. How are they gonna change it from the original game so it's still a game to be worth playing on its own? It won't just feel like an expansion pack to the original. We can see from the trailer that Hyrule Castle is rising up, so likely the place where the Ganondorf character is will be under the castle. Personally, I would love for all the ruins we see in the original to be rebuilt so Hyrule feels alive once more. I really want a large Hyrule Castle town to visit again. We can't tell if there will be multiple dungeons all holding the secrets of Ganondorf and yet to put the pieces together, or if it will just be the tomb under Hyrule Castle. Why do they go down? Are the cutscenes that we see in the middle, the beginning, or the end of the game? I don't know. I just have a lot of questions, but mainly I'm just so excited to have both my children together exploring a spooky dungeon in a great game that may or may not be co-op. That's a whole different conversation. I don't know what to say. This video is a mess. I'm very bad at YouTube. I'm back now, I guess. I have like a quarter of a script on why Breath of the Wild deserves a movie. I work on it like every two months, but I hate it, so I stop working on it. But I just wanted to scream about this because I'm very excited and hopefully you will stick around for the journey because I did really enjoy making YouTube videos and I hope I can find some enjoyment in doing it again. Thank you for watching this absolute mess of a video. I don't know what the future holds, but whatever. Breath of the Wild 2!